Hello and welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Riley and in today's video we are back in FM23 with Hall City. And as you can tell, well it's November for one thing, and we are doing very well in the league. We are on something of a streak. Let's just go to our schedule and look at our past matches. So since the last video, we've had... When was the last video? Video Blackpool. Yeah, we lost against Cardiff, which was unfortunate. And then after that, the only loss that we registered was against West Brom in penalties in the third round of the F, not the FA Cup, the League Cup. And as far as I'm aware, the board should be happy with that. Yeah, they're fine with that. Pass. Delighted. They're good. Cool. So that's all they wanted. What did they want for me? Be competitive against Leeds. Yeah, Leeds is in the league, so that's temp that's tricky. Anyways, uh, we actually don't play Leeds a couple weeks. Okay, cool. Anyways, so we are doing very well. We've had lots of victories, lots of clean sheets even. We've had five clean sheets in the last seven matches. That's actually pretty insane. So that puts us in a nice, comfortable second position uh, just beneath Leeds. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, up our game if we want to surpass Leeds. Leeds United obviously is very good. They just came down from the Premier League. So, yeah, we're in a good spot. Hopefully it continues here because finance-wise, we're not. Well, we're still in decline. Still in decline, but it could be a lot worse as well. So, what's going to happen in this video is Sunderland. So, let's go to the team. I... Thought I already looked at my team. Let's see. Yeah, Campana and Romero up top. That's fine. Okay, so Irvon in uh, net. And then as our back four. Where's Giles at? Giles is not fit. Okay, that's fine. Nakayama. Is that who we want there? Where do we want this guy? Uh, he's not 100% fit either. Fine, Nakayama can go there. And then let's see. Who else do we have? Uh, that's fine. Gurkhan, Erhoghai, Ur that's fine. And then Tanner, yeah, that's fine. That's a solid back four. And like they're playing pretty well. Tanner struggling with fitness, that's whatever. But they're all above average of seven. Let's see, Slater, I think I want Slater in instead of Burkhan. And then Ozan Tufan as our other midfielder. And then attacking force of Paulino Kapana. Romero, Capana is playing very well. He's playing good football right now. A 7.76, 11 goals and 14 appearances. It's uh, a little bit of insanity, if you ask me. And then Romero, he's also playing very well for us. He's got eight goals and two assists. Very nice. And then on the right side, Gankam. Do we want that? Do we? Sanik is not fit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Herrera is a... I don't know if I showed you. I, th I thought I did. But he's a young guy we brought in from Argentina. And 20 years old. He's got one cap for under 20. Four and a half star potential player. thing I liked that was obviously like these attributes weren't terrible. And obviously this is nice. But 6'5", 191 pounds. 14 finishing at this point. So if he can improve, that would be good. And he's got two goals and one man in the match in six appearances so not the end of the world not the end of the world my boudet is still on loan with us but i think he'll be leaving in january i had pep talk to me over at man city saying that he wanted him to play more and i said no i said take him back recall him from loan if that's what you want and he said that's what he's gonna do so that is whatever so sunderland let's do this our form is spectacular Hopefully it does not end because I am recording this. That's definitely what would happen, though. What do you mean Polino starting is a terrible call? Polino's been playing spectacularly. Spectacularly? Spectacular? He's been playing very well. So it is at Sunderland. Okay, that's fine. They're playing with a, a nice back five. That's great. Back five, back seven. All right, boys. 
Let's do this. Let's not let them get the upper hand right off the bat. Yeah, it's fine. Nakayama, Ergohide, Ozan Tufan. Thompson recovers that quick. We get the ball back. Ergohide, yeah, Slater, Slater over. We got Gurkhan, Nakayama. Nakayama takes up the left side. Gets dispossessed so easily. I can't get rid of Nakayama even if I, want, even if I wanted to. He did get the Japan call up again, though, so... We're not playing very much. Japan loves them. All right. That's fine. Six minutes in. We'll hang in there for now. But we do... Uh, well, it'd be nice, obviously, to continue our run of form. So hopefully we do continue with that. But it is nil-nil in the one to the 15th minute. We're not particularly playing well, but not poor either. Polino gets it up. No one's able to connect with it. They try to clear it. On Doc Gurkhan is there. Yeah, get it over. Yeah, Ozan Tufan. Slater. Slater's going to score. Slater has been phenomenal recently. All the goals he scores are always from, like, the top of the box. Always from the top of the box. It is great. Love to see it. On Doc Gurkhan was able to find him quite easily. Well, Ozan Tufan does. Easy. Oh, deflection, too. Okay, that's fine. 1-0. We're doing it. Going to 30th minute. Not a lot of highlights in this match. We are up 1-0 at least, but yeah, not a lot of highlights. I do have the shoot on sight. I don't know why they want us to work the ball into the box. Slater shooting on sight has been huge for us. It has been working great. So why do I want to stop that? I don't know. Actually, wise it's a pretty low match, but we've had four shots on target to their not nil. So, yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Well, it's going to halftime, 1-0 up. I'm okay with that. Still, we're, if we win this, we're five points ahead of third place, which is good. Oh, Murphy. Oh, okay, good. Tanner is able to get that out. Nice. Look behind you, please. Uh, who's that? Paulino. Murphy again. Why did I jinx it? Why did I jinx it saying we're going to go up 1-0? Into halftime, one nil. Nah, nah, I don't like that. Don't like that, boys. That was sloppy. Sloppy play. Proud of everyone's efforts. Keep going. We can win this. I don't know about that, but let's keep going. Well, I think we could. What am I saying? We can do this. So, three points ahead of third place, Nottingham Forest. Let's continue this, please. I'm going to encourage them. Still haven't really had any highlights. Polino is not playing very good. I'm going to have to take him off here fairly soon. Which is funny because he's been playing very good. But at, at least after this is a international break. So some of these guys like Polino who does not get the call up for Brazil. Which is, I know, surprising. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get that in Slater. We've had... So many opportunities there. Nothing. We couldn't get it past. All right. Polino's going to uh, get taken off now. All right. Come on. Let's go. Who do I have? Oh, I don't really have a lot of good options, to be honest. Gum gum. Uh, I don't like any of these options. Romero can play on the right side. And then I'm going to put on Enes Dastan as a uh, the pressing forward. Okay. And then, do I have anyone that can play right back? Ozan Tufan can. Then Slater will play as a ball box to box. And then I'm going to put on Ben Azaz as our advanced playmaker. And that should do it for now. But yeah, fitness is definitely a concern right now. Which is makes sense. We have an international break, so a lot of the guys should get their fitness back. But yeah, we uh, are definitely lacking on the uh, fitness. No highlights, really. What is going on here? Not a whole lot going on. <laughs> Apparently, not, not a whole lot going on. Uh, probably make another sub here pretty soon. Let's see. Nakayama. Gankam. 
Uh, Gurkhan, Slater, Slater over to Urgahide, Urgahide. Don't go backwards with the ball, please. Gurkhan, forward, boys, forward. Feel, we're feeling the pressure. Azaz, Gurkhan, don't go back again, Urgahide. Go, forward, forward. There we go. Ozan Tufan. Yeah, yeah, Romero, Romero's got like no one in net, in front of net. Tufan again, Romero. How is he not offside? Wasn't offside? Okay. Cool, yes, Ozan, Slater, Azaz, Azaz over to Nakayama, Nakayama. Where are the strikers at? Campana, why weren't you there? Okay, I'm going to pause this now. Uh, Campana. Herrera can go up front. Romero should come off because he's doing jack squat. Maybe Bude. He's got pace at least. I don't have anyone that can. Oh, here we go. Caratas. So that's all our subs. That's everyone. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's all our subs, but we can we can make that work. Cool. 15 minutes left of regular time in this match. Let's do something with it, boys. Let's not, definitely not concede anything. I don't want to lose to Sunderland. I also don't want to draw to some of them either. Nottingham Forest looks like they're up. They're only a point behind us at this point. <laughs> so let's, uh, come on. We got to do something here, boys. Let's go. Mm, this match, it's, they're just playing so defensive. It's hard for us to get any kind of highlight. We've had the opportunities. Our XG's there, but Emmanuel Dennis. Why do I know that name? Why? Why do I? Demand more. We are playing away. We're in Nottingham, at least. So, like, eh, whatever. A draw's a draw. Could have been worse. We could have lost. I do wish we would have won, though. Let's be honest. I do wish we would have won that match. But, yeah, it could have been significantly worse. So, I I'll take it. I'll take it for what it was. But, yeah, it's still a little disappointing. If it was, like, Nottingham Forest that we drew against, sure. But, Sunderland, like, they were 10th. Like, they're mid-table. We're supposed to be, like, close to the top of the table at this point. So, it's like, mm -mm. but whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, when it comes to January transfer window, I have no money. I have no wage budget. Unless I get a lot of offers for guys, like significant offers, I'm probably not going to be doing much of any business. And a lot of that is also having to do with the squad that we have. I feel like I've been able to allocate a pretty diverse squad that is very skillful. And why is this taking so long to process? Holy cow. But yeah, as I was saying, I think we won't do any business. So maybe I'll come back at the end of January. Unless things start really going downhill, maybe we'll come back sooner. But I really hope that's not the case, of course. He definitely has a uh, fitness problem. What's this contract look like? 2028. Yeah, okay. Regen, he's good. Yeah, he's doing pretty good for us. Okay. That's fine. 11 unbeaten. Yeah. So it's not it's not the worst. Could have been a lot worse. So let's see. We have Leeds coming up at the end of the month. That's going to be a big match. And then going into January, that big cup. Watford. Okay. Well, we'll see when we come back. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how we can continue to improve. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.